Hey Sagittarius, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? What message do you have for Sagittarius? Holy Spirit, what's the message for Sagittarius? Okay. And we have Practice Positivity, number 23. So he's looking out ahead towards the future with positivity. So it's like, you know, really um, expecting positivity, expecting to come across things positively. Expecting things to go your way. So it's like whatever way things go, that's the way that is positive. Like, I don't know how I'm getting that, like, not, um, not necessarily um, saying this is the way things, I want things to go, but whatever way things are going, that is positive, I, if that makes sense. Um, let's read that one. Let's see what it has to say. Number 23. Stop judging and start looking for the good. It's time to focus on everything in your life that is positive. Positivity adjusts your point of view and allows you to see every situation through the lens of optimism. Part of the challenge that this card presents is to encourage you to cease any judgment or harsh behaviors with others and particularly with yourself. You're being asked to become vigilant, not only with what you say, but also with every thought. Each positive thought has the power to heal and uplift, while each negative thought can harm and drown you. You will find that as you practice positivity, you will attract more positive thoughts, people, and opportunities. You will also start to enjoy your life more, opening up the possibility of activating your intuitive abilities and awakening your spiritual gifts. Over time, no matter the challenge, you will be able to experience life with equanimity and an open heart. So, yeah, I'm just getting that it's like, instead of saying this is what equals positive, accepting that um, when you come around the bend, you know, this particular situation that pre presents itself you accept that this is what equals positivity, no matter what it is. You know, it's like um, allow things to present themselves as positive and, and not um, predetermine what equals positive and what doesn't. That's what I that's the message that came through. All right. What else do we have? What else do we have for Sagittarius? And we have. Number 23, again, wow, uh, thought vibrations, resonant choices, signature signals. So I feel like this is the same thing. You know, it's like um, aligning yourself with positive vibrations, bring that which, um, you know, putting yourself in a positive vibration so that you are picking up on the signals, on the vibration of things that are positive, things that are um, that you resonate with will be positive. Things that you tune into will be positive. It's almost like tuning into the right uh, vibration, tuning into the station that brings in those positive signals. That signature signal, it says, yeah definitely like a different um, wavelength than the negative, the things that will drown you. All right, what else do we have? And we have Spirit Guardian of Summer, expansion number 37. So this is all about growth, about um, expecting a harvest, expansion, I'm going to read that one as well. What are we expecting expansion for? Let's see here. Number 37. 
In the sacred forest, the spirit guardian of summer has arrived. Large clumps of purple berries hang heavy on the vine. The apple trees are laden with shining ripe red fruit. The droning of the bees fills the forest. The grass is high. The forest is alive with the heavy, uh, heady scent of flowers. Vitality, health, success, abundance, healing, and passion are expanding in your life. However, you can't sit back and wait for it to happen. The energy of summer is the energy of working with passion in the direction of your dreams. Give it everything you've got and immense award, uh, reward will follow. Do not sit on the sidelines. Work hard, play hard. Your labor will pay off. If you hold back and repress what you feel during this time, you will become drained and your spirit will wane. This is not the time to take care of everyone else. This is the time to step forward with passion and delight. You'll be glad that you did. The most earth energy is available to us during the summer season. It is when we can access the greatest amount of sunlight and spiritual light so that the power of the sun can pour into our hearts. The spirit guardian of summer says, work with passion, don't hold back. Take positive steps in the direction of your dreams now in order to reap the harvest later. Your hard work will result in abundance, bounty, and beauty. Celebrate, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? So it's very easy in the summertime to get caught up in, you know, the, the laziness of summer, the rest and relaxation, the vacation of summer. So um, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think that Spirit is just saying focus. This, there's something about the energy of summer that is really going to pay off for you if you put in the hard work. If you focus on this positive energy that's surrounding you, that is coming through for you, you will reap the harvest. Okay, and we have initiation, number 16, sacred site, phenocyte. So I feel like um, initiation... You're going through some type of initiation. This could be to expand you. This could be, you know, um, you showing initiation, um, showing, you know, uh, I feel like there's something about you standing out because of your positivity, because of your, um, like your bursts of energy I'm getting, your, um, you not setting back and kind of taking it easy because of the warm, um, the warm temperatures, the kind of common um, time where people tend to be a little more carefree and laid back. You're you're going full force, and there's something about that being you know um, recognized by others. This definitely could be in your job, your workplace. Um, you're taking advantage of the energy. Definitely see that. The 16 also represents the tower energy. So I feel like you're really, um, you're taking advantage of that energy to build a solid foundation. That's what I'm getting. All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? And we have the devil destructive indulgence. So yeah, I feel like you are, um, there's a temptation to relax and indulge and, um, a temptation to be lazy or, you know, um, slack off at this time and you are not falling for it. You're making, um, clear choices here. You are, remaining positive you are not falling for it you're not falling for the temptation right now that's what i'm getting here what else do we have we have the ace of swords newfound clarity you have big ideas you have um i feel like you've made a choice you've come up with a solution um this is like a positive energy as far as um, this po uh, practicing positivity. You feel like clarity. You feel clear. You feel um, this is expansion as well. This is initiation. This is like, you know, really um, 
getting like the green light is what I'm getting here. What is the challenge? And we have the six of wands, glorious win. So it's like you're trying to finish, like get to the finish line here, get the win and it's been challenging, whatever this is for you. I'm trying to think, I, I just, I'm like trying to pull all this together. It's like there's been, um, I feel like there has been dis a lot of distraction, but you've been very focused and there's been a lot of distraction. There's been um, a lot of bumps in the road and your main thing is trying everything you can to stay positive, to focus on the prize, keep your eye on the prize. Um, and, you know, some the truth may have come through. This is what's going to carry you to this victory. But you still have, have like a final challenge to get there. That's what I'm getting here. What is the advice from Spirit? And we have the Three of Wands, notable growth. So, yeah, I feel like there's no, no way that you can sit back and wait for this to come to you. This is definitely something that you have to work for, battle for, um, you know, go towards is what I'm getting here. There's no sitting back waiting for it to happen. You have to go towards it or meet it. And it is part of your destiny. That's I'm definitely getting that here. What is the outcome? And we have the Page of Wands. Rapid fire planning. So you have a lot of fire energy here. I feel like this is what's in your favor is your fire energy. Your, um, your actions are what's going to set you apart from others. This is part of some type of initiation. Um, it's almost like there are people watching to see what you're going to make of a situation. This could be some kind of project. This could be some kind of um, test or challenge that you're going through in your current position. The bottom of the deck is the five of coins, hard misfortune. So I think that, um, yeah, it's almost like the final straw in a situation um, this could be, you know, to prove yourself, to be able to make something out of the department you're in, out of the team you're on, out of the business you're in, whatever it is, it might be the last straw, it might be um, maybe for you, you're feeling like if I can't make something happen here, I'm, you know, I'm leaving this situation, whatever it is. This is, there's a uh, deadline here. There's something about really making it now or it's like now or never, I'm feeling. Um, but you're also feeling very positive about this because um, it's like uh, with that now or never attitude, it's going to be positive either way for you. And I feel like, you know, you're going to make good things happen regardless. If it, if it doesn't work, you're go, you have somewhere to go. If it does work, then victory is yours. It's like, regardless, you have um, victory, you know, regardless. That's what I'm getting here. But let's clarify. Let's get some more details here. All right. What's this devil about? And we have the king of wands. So... This could be, you know, like me, there could be some kind of very controlling, um, there could be some kind of controlling manager or controlling uh, superior in this business. This could also be you. It could be you where, you know, you're trying to man maintain too much control, burning the candle at both ends. Um, this could be where, you know, where you've um, become toxic as a leader in some sense. And I feel like, um, you know, that's not what you want to be. You know, it could be someone over you or this could be you. What's this Ace of Swords about? And we have the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like this newfound clarity is after sleepless nights, after, um, you know, understanding that, you know, 
trying to be controlling or or being controlled is not where it's at and there's just like this new idea or new understanding of what works what doesn't work and sleepless nights new ideas have come come in and you have this new understanding this new perspective of positivity of um, the choices that you make of your vibration of expansion of initiation here of all of this changes the way that you are approaching things and understanding that it is what it is you know it is kind of do or die but you're going to have victory either way that's what i'm getting here and it changes the way you approach things which makes the victory all the more sweeter you you will have a better chance at victory in this situation show me the six of wands and we have the ace of cups because you're putting into yourself so it's like yes it's do or die but in the sense that you're gonna win either way because if you don't make it in this position you have a backup plan you have you know it will decide for itself you are going to give it everything you got but you're going to be fine either way you're going to love yourself either way you are going to um flourish either way you are going to maintain confidence you're going to love yourself you're going to take care of yourself regardless i love that i love that all right what do we have with this three of wands and the page of pentacles so yeah there's there's something where you have set up opportunities for yourself regardless you've covered your ass and that is very important in um the world of business these days so i definitely get that this is about career so if this do, if you feel like this doesn't apply to you then don't make it fit what is this page of wands about and we have justice yeah you absolutely um have a plan in place if it works it works if it doesn't you have your backup plan so it's like you are going to do it justice you are going to give it your all regardless and you know it's um it it's not for lack of trying or lack of hard work and um you know you're going to give it your all but you know how the economy is you know the industry very well so you know that there are no guarantees you know you're giving it your best shot that's what i'm getting here bottom of the deck is the ten of cups so this is all about you know um, you understand that there is a money aspect to things and things don't always work out but as long as you are maintaining your own integrity your own family, your own self-contentment and your own fulfillment. And, you know, you can look yourself in the mirror every day. That's what matters most. That's what I'm getting here. So again, it's about your own, um, your own uh, positivity, your own expansion of your soul, your own, uh, the fruits of your labor, your own vibration, and what you are um, willing to sacrifice and what you're not willing to sacrifice, right? You're not willing to give up truth and justice um, for a dollar, you know? So you, you are willing to give it your all, but you're not going to uh, sacrifice... Um, your soul for a job, right? <laughs> so not that they're asking you to, but you're just going to give it your best shot. And if it works, great. If not, you move on to the next um, opportunity, right? All right, so what, what, are, what other guidance do we have for Sagittarius? We have this one here. And it says, Fairy Stone, good fortune. I am open to receive all the goodness the universe has to offer me at all times and in all ways. Absolutely. What else? And that's positivity. We have this one here. Wrote a cross site, self-acceptance. I fully accept myself and know that I am worthy of great things in life. Love it. And this one here. Shatukai, teacher. I have the divine wisdom of the universe within me and I openly share it with the world. 
beautiful. So that may be something that you move towards is teaching or um, training or something for some of you. All right, so those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please, please, please subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.